I came to Berlin to be a painter. Bar manager takes up a bit more of my time at the moment, but it's still there. I uh, still have my studio set up, still do a lot of online work and that sort of thing. Well, normally I'll take maybe 10 pictures of a subject um, on the same background, just get them to pull different expressions, turn their heads, this sort of thing. And then I pick the best two or the two that I think will pair the best together. And it is essentially, my brother calls it vintage Photoshop. I literally cut and weave the images together and make this collage taped together all around the edges. And then from this, I make the paintings. So sort of as I'm weaving it square by square, I decide which piece of which image I want to be visible. Yeah, so you wind up with four eyes and two mouths and two noses, but it means that you can kind of see two sides of a person, two different parts of a personality, something like this. This one's one of my favorites, the my friend Bernard. It's, um, one of the first ones that I did of my friends here, I did a big exhibition and it was kind of my first success piece once I moved to Berlin. Yeah, I actually, um, my flight to Europe when I first moved here was paid by an award that I won. I won a national painting competition through the Italian embassy and got return flights to Rome. And then I used that to move to Berlin and never went back. <laughs> it is true. Still says it on my Facebook page. I am the curator of the world's first and only David Hasselhoff Museum. <laughs> In my old workplace at the Circus Hostel was this sort of gimmick thing they'd had going with David Hasselhoff for years. And we had this disused corridor. There was nothing in it, but it was a part of the building that everyone walked through. So we decided to do something with it. So I spent about a month on the internet scanning for David Hasselhoff memorabilia, buying, you know, the most bizarre things and signed photographs and this sort of thing and then yeah collected it together and curated it into this quirky little museum. He visited, he came in May. I missed him by about half an hour. I was devastated but he loved it. He came and he signed it. It's literally a small corridor and he signed it in four places. Very funny. 